a real chain from a chainsaw. It took me two months to file down all the sharpness out. This was an old rusty chain to start with, so it's a little bit dull already. Be careful when sanding it down, it can still cut you. can in my backyard. This is the body for the chainsaw from the first Evil Dead movie. It had more of a square shaped body. I don't know if they sell this shape anymore if you look for it at yard sales. You must be careful cutting the gas can. It's not easy. Two utility knives broke while cutting this thing. So if you can think of something else that would cut this, then I would use that instead. This is all I had. Mark the back and cut it out for the armhole. It is a plexiglass cutter knife. the edges with sandpaper. When working with very hot water, be careful. Use a metal fork to get all the simple plastic out of the pot. Make sure all the excess water is off before putting it in the hand. You may have to put it back in the pot a few times till it looks smooth. When it looks right, put it over a jar or some kind of round surface and mold it to the shape you like. Then let dry slash harden. This was the best way for me to do this. This is finally hardened. You need to make sure this piece is hard before you put it back in there because you need to be able to smooth this out a little more. But this needs to be perfectly round. Make sure this is nice and hard. Alright. Yeah, this is dangerous. Do this part, the plastic has to be a little soft to cut with scissors. Be careful. I didn't cut it straight, so I had to get a lighter and heat the very end just enough to flatten it out. You are making the ring right on the silver.
we are fixing the cuts that are too deep. Then make an outer ring so it looks like this. Then make an outer ring so it looks like this. You are making the side cover. You have to cut a hole for the handle to go in on the side.
This is the main part that holds the chain. You want to put it on the body and cut two little slits so it fits nicely on the, the gas tank. This is what it looks like. Bolted together. This part here is part of an actual part of the actual chainsaw part. We put little bolt. We put bolts in there, and then we took Elmer's glue and poured it all the way around it and sealed it off, so it doesn't fall off. That you can you can see inside the bolts that we put in. We put screws through it. These screws do just hold down the face part of it. We bolted holes down there and bolted it down into which is actually a gasoline can. This part here is from an old, actually not an old, it's from a charcoal lighting handle of it. We cut it off. Put it in there and we bolted it in. We have a toggle switch here that we put on here. We have a piece of tin that we folded around the top. Part of it, we bent it over. It's one solid piece. Bent it, cut it. Fold it just like paper, it's thin tin. Way it would look like it had a front casing of the of a chainsaw and I just put screws into it to hold it in place because as you, you can't sit there and ha it's rounded dent it over these are just lids we glued, glued them down so it would be oil gas this is a piece of a chainsaw the handle I had to cut it off because it wouldn't bend over far enough the full handle that you would have the arm piece is actually is a rubber tubing that you use for plumbing. It comes with a rubber piece in it, and this is the piece that it bolts down onto whatever you're putting onto. Usually it's PVC piping or something. That's what we started with. We used uh, little L-shaped brackets and drill holes through them into the metal bracket and bolt it down on each part of it, each corner to hold the whole arm piece in there so you can stick your arm inside there and be able to hold the chainsaw up. Next, what we had to do to drill the holes through here was we had to put a piece of 2x4 inside her. We had to hit it with a 16-penny nail. 
put a dent in it because the drill would just kept sliding all over the place. Be very careful having an adult help you do this unless you are an adult, be careful anyways. Part of it is hidden away behind the instamorph so you doesn't so you do not see everything. I used uh, screws to drill drill little holes through it so it goes through the morph and into the old S can. Oh, to make it look square like an actual chainsaw. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact Little Gray Bat and me and I will try and get back with you and answer any questions I can to help you. Please ring that bell, that new little bell thing. Little Gray Bat, people. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Shh. All right. Cut!